two weeks from tomorrow, the University of Houston makes its move to the Big 12 Conference. But as we've learned, one member of the Cougs is already making a big impact on our community. ABC 13's Adam Winkler is live in the studio of what we think makes a pretty nice feel-good Friday story. Adam? Erica, we certainly hope you're right. Now, in football, the offensive linemen, those big guys up front, they're the blockers, the protectors. The quarterback and the running back, they know the linemen have their back. A key member of the offensive line at the University of Houston proves to us he's here to care for more than just his teammates. Being on a school campus was no longer comfortable for Brody Bledsoe. I got bullied and it's just really hard to describe. Well, one way was emotionally depressed. The 11 year old who has autism recently finished a nightmare of a fifth grade school year. His mother, Mallory, who works in special education herself, still emotional, describing the bullying her son endured. My child would cry himself to sleep because he didn't want to go to school the next day. And as his mom and person that's supposed to protect him, that was hard. Searching for anything to boost her boy's spirits, Mallory asked a family friend to help. Do the things that they're doing to him, say the things that they're saying to him, I don't like that. Jack Freeman. A University of Houston offensive lineman who started all 13 games at center for the Cougs football team last season has known the Bledsoe family since his high school days in North Texas. But that's not his only link to Brody's situation. I was bullied whenever I was younger, you know, being overweight and stuff, just getting called fat and whatnot. Tuesday, Jack brought Brody to U of H for a VIP tour of the athletics facilities and a meet and greet and autograph with Cougs players. During our visit Friday, Brody is again on Coog Cloud 9 as he and mom eat lunch with the football team. I know how cool that was. <laughs> Did you get to meet any players? Yes, sir. What was, that, what was that like? It was amazing. Jack has been where Brody has been, and there are unfortunately many others with the experience of being bullied. Him speaking out helps another child who may have gone through it, and he can watch this clip and go talk to his parents or her parents. There's always something that somebody next to you can do. How would you feel if somebody else was doing that to you? Brody calls Freeman Big Jack because of his size. He's clearly got a large heart, too, because after an awful experience on campus, Brody is beaming on this campus, thanks to a little love from Jack Freeman. All right, now get this. Mallory went to TCU, soon to be one of U of H's Big 12 rivals, but as you can see in that story, and you can see in this photo, the way those U of H players have treated her son, mama won't hesitate to wear cougar red and root for the squad. Erica, you certainly can't blame her for what those guys did. Absolutely, and you're right. This was the story we needed. Forget the kids at school. Brody, I'll hang out with you anytime as well. Thank you for that.